up cyclists welcome back to the channel today we are doing another installment of matching music uh, for those of you that are new to the channel let me just give you a brief rundown of how this series works so I have about 10 minutes on the clock to find 10 different pieces of music or songs that I think encapsulates the theme of the playlist then after that I'm gonna launch a poll which if you are not following me on Instagram at songcycle underscore official please consider doing that because you will get to be a part of the videos I make and have influence in what kind of things that I do on the channel so I'm gonna launch the poll for you guys I'm gonna see what you guys come up with and then we're gonna compare our answers and if any of our answers match then we get a point. So I'm really anxious to see how well we can do this time because I know some of my song selections last time were very interesting <laughs> to say the least. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'll put myself somewhere on the screen and I'll try and show my screen recording on my phone. So let's go ahead and put 10 minutes on the clock and start. Okay. So I think the most classic Disney princess is Snow White. And so I feel like that's gonna be a lot of people's choices. For Snow White, I kinda wanna do Brave by Sarah Brillow. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. <laughs> um, so, but I just think that that song is a really good fit for Snow White because in the movie, she's not very like, you know, courageous or anything, but she does end up defeating the witch at the end. So I think that that is cool. Oh, and look at that. We have another Disney princess coming up when I put that in. So I am going to save this. Do okay, cool. So now we have our first song. So I think next I'm gonna go with Cinderella because growing up, I would always watch Cinderella all the time. Um, and so I think that one of the most famous songs from Cinderella is A Dream is a Wish, but I think that that's too obvious. Me overthinking everything as usual. <laughs> so I think I'm going to go with another song that involves dreams that I used to love hearing when I was little. My mom would sing it to me all the time when we'd go to sleep would be Dream a Little Dream. And why did I type in Cinderella again? Because that's going to come up with the real song. Ah, so that's my immediate thoughts. Now it's gonna get into the portion of the video where I just don't know anything else <laughs> to do. I have two songs. So let's see what other Disney princesses I think are really popular. Um, I'm gonna go with Jasmine from Aladdin. I mean, classic Disney princess, Renaissance movie, right there. Um, and for Jasmine, I don't know. I know it's awful to say this, but every time I think of Jasmine now, I think of this uh, live action movie, which is not good. I don't like it. <laughs> but I think of Naomi Scott who played Jasmine, and I first knew her from Lemonade Mouth. So I'm going to see if I'm going to do She's So Gone. And we're going to spell that right because, God, I can't even spell. <laughs> it's going to be great. Uh, okay, so I think I'll include that because it just reminds me of the live action one, and yeah. And I think it's a good song to represent Jasmine too, like she's, she's independent, you know, she doesn't care about what other people think of her, you know, um, all over the place. So, you know what? <laughs> I, I'm thinking of I'm a little too young. I don't know why, but I feel like if, you, if I picture the character in my mind, then I just think of like... Teapots, which it's kind of awkward because I know Belle from Beauty and the Beast also has a talking teapot, but no, we're gonna do this one for Sleeping Beauty. See, so uh, I don't know. I just think of it as being very proper, and when I think of Sleeping Beauty, I think of her as this very like graceful and proper girl. And man, why don't they have an adult version of I'm a Little Teapot on YouTube? Let's do the Benedict cover. I might go back and change that because that's so far it's the only one that I can find that is not going to be blocked for kids content for playlists. So yeah, okay, so we have the big three princesses, the original OGs, um, but since we brought up Belle, let's just go ahead and do Belle. You know, um, she's very, she's from a French town, she likes to read, um, very smart, 
capable woman. Now that I'm thinking about it, I completely forgot about the Broadway version of Beauty and the Beast, and they have a song called Home, which Belle sings. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go with that. So, and since this was never actually used in the 90s Disney film, I'm gonna count it as not being part of the film, because it's part of the Broadway play. Hmm. Mulan. Okay, Mulan, I love the 90s movie. The live action movie, as I've said with Aladdin, uh, no good. It's no good. It's really bad. <laughs> but we're gonna see if we can find a good song for her. She's a warrior, so we're gonna need something like a beat, I guess. Something that's very, like, sh to show she's really strong, because she fights in a war, and she, you know, she has to do all this training with all the other men in the camp, and I don't know, when I think of her, I think of Fighter from Christine, by Christina Aguilera. Yes, that just kind of popped into my head. <laughs> um, let's see if, uh, spelling again, oof, we're gonna, we're gonna really expose my spelling. But yes, I think that is a great fighting song because she is, you know, one of the strongest Disney princesses, in my opinion, when it comes to fighting, at least. So that's good. Okay, so how much time do we have? Um, it's not. Oh, okay. We have about two minutes. So let's try and get like one or two more in there. But to do that, we'd have to think of princesses. <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, let's think. Ooh. I guess we can do Moana, but I don't know any kind of, I don't know, hmm. I feel like she's kind of, she's a very similar character to Mulan for me, like she's very strong and she doesn't need a man to help her, you know, or to like, you know, support her. She goes out and like travels the seas and does it by herself and she faces a lot of challenges. So I'm trying to see, um, The Climb by Miley Cyrus because she is, you know, She's traveling the seas, but she also has to fight this, like, lava monster. And she deals with a lot of struggles about who she is. And I think it's really well encaptured in the movie. So I'm going to go with that one, because I think that's a good, like, fight your fights, you know? <laughs> so, fight your fights. What am I saying? Oh, God. Um, okay. We can try to get one more in there. Let's see. Uh, we can do this. Thinking of princesses. I'm forgetting people and princesses. The Little Mermaid. How did I forget The Little Mermaid? Okay, um, and I know I've been trying to find songs that encapsulate the princesses outside the movie, but there is no other song than Part of Your World that encapsulates Ariel. Like, it's just, you think of The Little Mermaid, you think of that song. There's no getting around it. It's a perfect I Want song, um, which is like a time. Oh no, the timer went off. I'm gonna, you know what though, because I tried to add it and it was kids content blocked. Okay cyclists, so after a few weeks of procrastinating followed by a couple of panicked research days, I am finally back to share the results of this week's matching music episode. Now it was a little harder to find answers for this topic, I think because the topic was so specific compared to my road trip playlist that I did, um, and we didn't really have any answers to the polls. Um, so I really had to roll up my sleeves and get creative. So right off the bat, I decided to do a general internet search and found a lot of answers coming up with what your favorite Disney princess says about you, which did not really help for this video, but did result in me taking a lot of BuzzFeed quizzes earlier this week. Just in case anyone was curious, I ended up getting Mulan, but I don't know if it's the best fit since I'm definitely not sporty in any way. I'm definitely the music nerd of my friend group. After scrolling through that, I was able to find a website called fanpop.com that had a list of songs that would go well for Belle from Beauty and the Beast and Cinderella, which I'll display on the screen now. Um, none of the songs unfortunately matched my recommendations or matches for the princesses, but they really had some elaborate detail about why the songs they picked match, so I definitely recommend going to check that out. I'll put a link in the description. Side note too, um, I was also able to find on the same website a section about this album called Imaginarium. It had songs that were specifically written for different princesses, so that was also super cool too. So after a general internet search failed me, I decided to check YouTube, which I remembered that I had forgotten to check in my last episode. 
Um, and sure enough, I was able to find a video by user XC that matched popular TikTok audio clips to princesses. And while none of them were my matches, obviously, because I didn't pick any specifically TikTok uh, audio clips, I thought it was still really cool and they had some really creative picks. So I'll also leave that in the description if you're interested in checking out her video. Then, as if the universe was like, hey, let's go over a bone, uh, I discovered this really cool website called gnod.net, which allows you to type in the name of any artist, whether that be for film, for music, for visual art, and uh, it will generate other artists that are similar to the artists you entered in. So I was like, this is really cool, and I decided to input Eileen Woods to test it out, who voiced Cinderella, and I ended up coming up with one of the names on the list was Ella Fitzgerald. So I'll show you a picture of that on the screen right now. Um, it's a really cool website. But the fact that she was on there gives me one point because Dream a Little Dream of Me was sung by Ella Fitzgerald. So yeah, uh, this was a really cool website. I definitely think I'm going to be using it in the future. And if you're looking to find new artists, I definitely recommend using it. So I only ended the episode with one point, but I was pretty proud of myself considering the fact that I really had to scour the internet for these. Um, I would love to hear what you guys thought, what you would have picked for your Disney princess matching music playlist. Uh, and so comment down below, what would you have picked for either this or my road trip playlist? Um, my next episode for Matching Music is coming out in a couple of weeks, just in time for Halloween. So if you also would like to comment down below, what is your favorite Halloween song to get you in the mood for the holiday? Um, but I, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.